of a, uh, first of all, I'd like to start by echoing something that brought back memories <laughs> when I heard Rabbi Kassowitz this week, starting the beginning of the week, he says, Jutas Kislev's coming, and said, when we were growing up, when you, uh, when you grew up in Kachabad, from the beginning of the week, a week before Jutas Kislev, and, and every time he said it, I remembered that when we were in Alatera, for a week before, and the Yudas Kislev, oh, Menachem Kaisi is shaking his head. I still remember that Blazin Nanis used to be brought. Uh, Yudas Kislev, a ring, uh, uh, ring for the little kids just to see a chas. It was a different day. So I do want to give a grace to Rabbi Kasowitz, because sometimes, Rabbi Kasowitz, you don't realize how your words have an effect. Go ahead. Sometimes. <laughs> All right. I did hear. I did see a beautiful story that perhaps we could uh, start the discussion about Yutas Kislev. I heard a story, I read a story about a Rav, a Chassidish Rav in Eretz Yisrael, that he got up to say a speech in Yutas Kislev, and he said that when the Yidin, since the Yidin went into Golis, three new Yom Tavim were established. Hanukkah, Purim, and Yutas Kislev. And he explains, he explains that each one of these Yom Tevim is for a different part of the Yiddish guy. Purim, we know, was Haman Rachman Latlan, Lahashmid, Lahari, Abed Eskola, Yehudim. It was against the physical human being, the physical Yid. The Gashim is the Yid. Hanukkah, we're going to celebrate Hanukkah and Mitzvah Hashem this week. The, the celebration is the Yavanim wanted to Lahashkicham Tera Secha was a, uh, a spiritual Muhammad against the Torah. What was Yutas Kislev about? Yutas Kislev about was not only about the Yid, not only about the Torah, Yutas Kislev was a Muhammad against the Abishta, against Hashem himself. Obviously, when he said that speech, I read that uh, he wasn't in the most Hasidic neighborhood when they said it, and it caused major turmoil for what he said, you know, you just kiss him with the Muhammad against Hashem. But his point was that there could be somebody who's born Jewish and acts like a Jew and perhaps even studies Torah like a Jew, but he's still lacking the fact that he doesn't know that there's Eidosh there in the world. He doesn't know that this is all Hashem that's running all this. And perhaps that is what Hasidus Yutas Kislev is, to connect the dots. You are a Yid, you, the, you, the physical body of a Yid is special, Torah is for sure special, but remember it's that Abish, it's Hashem that gives you the Torah. We have a, a university st uh, uh, student here. I'm sure that there is a, a course in the University of Minnesota, you can learn Talmud, you can learn Judaism. It, as, a, as a topic, you can learn it anywhere. But where, where do you know, when do you know that it's the Abish, that it's a Torah, it's a religious thing that connects us with Hashem, is when you connect it all with through Chassidus. <coughs> so, Chassidus glues all this together. These three concepts, many of my martyrs that the Rebbe would say on Yutas Kislev, is based on the Gemara, which is based on the Pasuk of Pada Mishalom. The Gemara says, and we should all take a lesson, a Maisek B'Poyal on this Gemara. The Gemara says, Kalaisik B'Toyra, Anybody who studies Torah does gemilas chesodim, does kind acts, and davens with a minion, Hashem says, That pasik that we just sang refers to these three things. All these three actions are shalom. And shalom, these three things, you redeem the Abishter, ki'ilu pidaani mi umais. It's like you redeemed, you took Chatzrish the Eivishter, who's with us in Golos, you take him out of the Golos, and of course, when if an Eivishter is taken out of the Golos, freed from the Golos, we are all free. What is the, what is the, what is our action? What do we have to do? The Gemara says what we have to do. Ha'isik b'tayra, b'spalol ha'metzibur, and gemilas chasadim. How interesting it is that when you look in the Mephorshim of that Gemara, the Mepharshim of the Gemara says something how it's exactly what the Tanya begins with. with. The Tanya begins with, the, 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 the Shar Blot says, that the, the Altarebbe is writing the Torah, the Altarebbe is writing the Tanya, 
to explain how it's Beficha Ugulvokha La Soistoy. How Taira Mitzvah to connect Hashem is Machshava and Dibura Maisa in all facets of your world, of your life. You're able to fulfill Taira Mitzvah. So the Mepharshim say that these are the three things of Taira, Avaida, Taira, Gemulis Chasadim, and Mespalo Matsibur. Taira is Beficha. You learn, you say out the words of the Taira. Gemulis Chasadim. If you have all the money in the world and you're such a nice guy, but you're not actually doing it, you're not the nicest guy. So the Gvilas Chasadim is the Maisa, is the action. And Tfila, Eza Avoida Shebalev, Zu Tfila, Tfila is Machshava. So what the Alter Rebbe says in Tanya, that when you, that, that, that the, 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 the Tanya is to teach us how Bafricha, Vavavcha, La Soy Soy, the clear instructions of the Gemara is how you fulfill it. Isaac Betaira, Eisik uh, Betayra uh, 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 and Gemilus Chasadim Mespalu Mitzibur. So you have all three Mashaba Dibur Amais. And the Alter Rebbe, we know that the Rebbe always quoted that Yefutzim Aynasecha Chutzim Mashiach said when the wellsprings of the Siddhis will, will be spread, that's when Mashiach will come. And the, we know the story, we know it's mentioned that even in the Zoyar it says, which is the source of Chasidus, the Kabbalah, it says, that with this hidden part of Torah, Yifku mi Galusa, we will be redeemed from Galus. And, and Kabbalah is Kabbalah. How many people understand Kabbalah? So Chasidus made it applicable to, for all of us to be able to understand. So with learning Chasidus, which is based on Kabbalah, we will be re- redeemed. The Pidaani mi Beina Umas, the Abishtu will redeem us through amongst the Goyesh nation. Pidaani, Pada Vishalom. I want to share with you a short vart. I saw the real guest speaker just arrive. The short vart is like this. The, the redemption, Pada, we find it mentioned in, in, in Tanakh three times. The word Pedus, redemption, we find it mentioned in Tanakh three times. There is one place that the Torah speaks about by the Makis and the Yidin where it's writing. So it says, Vesamti Pedus, Veiniu Veinamecha. I will make a separation, of the, a redemption amongst from Yidin and Lahabdul the Goyim. We'll separate the, the nations. That's one place where it says Pedus. Another place where it says Pedus is Pedus, redemption, Shalach La'amoy. It's a passage. Pedus, Shalach La'amoy. Hashem sends redemption to his nation. And then there's a third passage where the word Pedus is mentioned, which we know when we say it <coughs> during Hashem, Cyrus and Mechuba. Vaharbe Imoy Pedus. So there are three types of Golosin that are, and, and there is an abundance of redemption by Hashem. Hashem gives a, an abundance of redemption. There are, there are three types of Golosin. There are three types of exiles a person, a yid, can be locked up in. And for the corresponding to the three types of exiles, Hashem has to give us different types of redemption. A yid Rahman al-Tzlan could be imprisoned Amongst Goyim, Goyim locked him up. Goyim, the, the Goyish kite around him is what, is what dragged him down. And then there is, it wasn't only, it's not only a problem, the Goyim around him, it's not getting along with his Yiddish peers, Yiddish friends. Sometimes the competition amongst the Yidden is not good. And that, or sometimes the neighborhood that he's in, the society, the, the peers, the, the, his classmates or whatever, amongst his own people incarcerate him, lock him up in a gullus. And then there is a different type of gullus. It's not a gullus amongst Goyim, Rahman al It's not even a gullus that your own people sent you into. It's a gullus, Panimi, your own gullus. You are locked up in your own <coughs> box. Your own Yetzirah has you, has you enclosed tight. That you can't, you can't, can't snish at them, you can't breathe, you can't get out of it. From these three Golosim, say the Mepharshim, the easiest one to take a yid out of is the Golos from amongst Goyim. If there's assimilation, and you see that a yid and a guy, all you have to do is show the yid how special you are. How they, Ashabach Avanu, Hashem chose us. We're different, we're the chosen people. You shine a, a beam of light, and the yid, Chatzich, Uy, I better get out of here. This is not where I belong. That's the easiest. 
the easiest goes to get out of. And that's what the Pasik says. The Pasik says, Vesamti Fidus. I have a share of Vesamti Fidus. I will make a redemption separating Yidin from Lahadu Gayim. And it's a light Fidia, it's a Fidus. Then there is a more, then there is a, a, a Golus that a person is locked up in because of the competition of his peers, a Yidin Shapir, the society, the neighborhood, Allah Tarutim in the Vel. That's that difficult. To be different amongst your own people is different. For that, we have to look, work a little harder. So Hashem says, Sholach Pidus, sometimes I have to help, help you, give, a, give you a redemption, Le'amoy, even when it's amongst your own nation. Then there is a situation which we all have. I don't know if Rabbi Grossman knows, but we all have a Yetzirah. The Yetzirah is a Melech Zokin Uxil, he has every trick in the book, and he keeps us tied, locked, <coughs> Kirutzim for the Baba, why not to grow in Yiddish guy? Kirutzim for the Baba means excuses for your grandmother. Why we should not grow in Yiddish guy? Uh, why we miss the shear? Why we miss the minions? Every, it's cold. It's every, every, real, every reason is good. But that's your own Yetzirah within you. That's a very difficult one to overcome. And for that one, the Pasik says, I have to send an abundance of people to help you to redeem you. When I saw this vart, I said to myself, you know that Yutis Kislev had all three of these. First of all, the Alter Eber was really sitting in prison amongst the, the Russian Shabulvanim, right? The, the Russians locked him up in prison, Goyim, in a Goyish prison. He had to be redeemed from the Goyim. Who put him in there? Who put him in there? Rahman al Our own people were jealous, couldn't, couldn't, couldn't stand the spreading of Yiddishkeit, spreading of Chassidishkeit. Our own people did it to him. And the Alter Rebbe, as Yossi Fellows so beautifully said, the Alter Rebbe said that the, that the colors he had in the home of the person that he came after he was redeemed was even worse than the colors in, in, in jail. And then the Alter Rebbe writes to Tanya. What's the Tanya? The Tanya is to tell you how to get rid of your Yetzirah. Your Yetzirah. So we are celebrating here a triple header. We're celebrating the triple header of the physical goof, which is similar to Purim. We're celebrating the spiritual thing, which is similar to uh, Hanukkah. We're celebrating here a Pidus Atzmi, a Pnus Nimi, how we could be free. How does a yid become free? A yid becomes free when you don't live somebody else's life. When you live your life, you're comfortable in your own shoes, in your own weight. You're comfortable in your own looks. I don't have to look like that person. I don't have to. There's a chesidah shavart. Lech lecha. Do what you could do. If your whole life is how to compete with somebody else, how to do what some. You know the famous Reb Zusha Me'anapoli. Reb Zusha Me'anapoli said, when after 120, nobody's going to ask me why I wasn't like Avram Aminu. They're going to ask me why weren't you what Zusha Me'anapoli was able to be. And perhaps this is the reason why Reb Zusha Me'anapoli, when he writes the, the, the Askama on the Tanya, his, his, his uh, way to sign off the date was Shnas Pidu Senu. By learning the Tanya, you will be redeemed from all sorts of goals and let it be speedy in our time. Amen. Amen.